Hey Aquarius, this is Psychic Medium Tammy coming in with your reading for the first few days of April. Hope you guys are doing great and thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you and all your subscriptions and your likes and your comments. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed this reading. We'll see what's coming up for you. Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay, you're building something new, Aquarius. This is the entrepreneur card, first thing up. Um, it's the Eight of Pentacles and it has to do with building a new business. It could be um, for some of you having to actually build something concrete like a house, new projects and things like that. But this is usually the entrepreneur card and I think you're going to find this really um, what's going on with you right now. That's what it's feeling like. So let's see what else is coming up. Um, the Lover's card is your crossing card right now. So this could be decisions. This could actually, um, for some of you, be a lover's situation that's creating a conflict for you. So let's see where this goes, Aquarius. Sometimes the, the uh, lover's card is choices. You may have just made a choice between a couple of things, like a job, like whether to do a job or to start a new business and that sort of thing. So let's see where this goes. Okay, the next card up is the death card, and this is having to do with um, endings and new beginnings coming in for you. This is what um, sort of hanging over you at the moment. There's been some sort of ending and new beginning, and I feel strongly this is having to do with this entrepreneur card. Next card up is the chariot. Okay, so this is a success card. You've got new beginnings and success coming in with it. Feel like you're on a new journey um, keeping things together you know you're driving these horses and you're keeping them together um, and it's not been easy it feels like it's been a tough path but you're doing it Aquarius energy please okay so this is an empress and this is in your past position now this could represent you or someone in your life that is the empress this is having to do with a mother figure or someone who's in charge. Um, this may mean that you just visited with your mother and she went back home. Um, this could mean that this is some aspect of you or your life that you feel like is going into the past. Okay, let's see where this goes. Okay, the um, in your near future I feel like you're a little frustrated this is feeling like you're not getting as you know as far along as you want with this ace of uh, with this eight of Pentacles energy I feel like you're not moving along as as well as you want things aren't happening you're not getting your wish this is the wish card but it's reversed so let's see what else is coming up here Aquarius So uh, this is your five of wands, uh, I'm sorry, five of swords, but it's reversed. So I'm feeling like um, someone's either been bullying you or you've been feeling bullied in some way. You've been feeling um, maybe even victimized in some way. Somebody's been after you. There's been some sort of a rivalry and um, a situation where um, you've wanted to cut something out of your life and it um, you know, it's going, I mean, this card is showing it like, you know, running away, but this is a difficult card. It feels like the situation since it's upside down is, you know, dissipating, which is a good thing, but it's still showing up like it's in your future a little bit. So it's not totally gone, but it's not as strong as it was or as strong as it could be. So I would look out for something that feels like somebody bullying you in some way or Feeling like somebody's trying to push you around, you know, and that kind of thing. So, um, this is how people are kind of seeing you at this time. This is a star card, and this is, again, upside down. Um, a lot of this is coming up reversed. So, um, the star reversed is, you know, people are seeing you as hopeful about what's going on with your project, um, your entrepreneurial project but not as hopeful as you want to be. You know, there's a little bit of holding back on that, a little bit of waiting for the stars to align. A little bit of a tough reading today, Aquarius. I feel like, you know, it's, 
it's up and down. It's kind of showing me that your life may be feeling like a bit of a roller coaster, you know, a little bit up and down, or actually a lot up and down. And um, this is, you know, it's a difficult thing. So we've got Six of Cups coming up here. This is memories from the past and things like that. This can be children. This can be children from the past, relationship from the past. And it's showing up in your hopes and fears kind of um, situation here. Like there may be something from the past that's going to turn up again, you know, that's going to cause some kind of thing that you're not really looking forward to here. Your final outcome is this nice Queen of Wands, and I feel like she is a figure in your life presently. I feel like there's um, a lot of, uh, depending on her, and whoops, for stability and balance, there's a kitty cat there. <laughs> that may mean something to some of you as well, kitty cat on the card. And uh, she's got her act together. She's a, got a lot of warmth. You know, she can handle both family and love and heart, as well as success and career and money. So she's an all around figure and she's showing up as a final outcome here for you. Like that's a really important um, part of your life right now. And whether that's you or your person, uh, that's, that's who's there. That's a really important card. So let's see if there's anything to expand on here with Aquarius to answer some of your questions. Yeah, okay, so about I wanted to ask about this not getting your wish card. You know, why is wish fulfillment not coming in in the near future with Aquarius? And there's something there that's blocking you. You know, this is the Ace of Wands, but it's reversed. So this should be new beginnings, you know, with your entrepreneur card. But it's feeling very much like um, something's blocking that. So let's ask more about what's blocking that for you. Hmm. So we got an emperor here no I'm sorry this is the hierophant oh, okay so this is having to do with and it's upside down <laughs> again a lot of these are reversed meanings this is having to do with your hierophant which has to do with um, marriage commitment and um, religion it can have to do with religion and dogmatic beliefs and things like that that I feel like in some way this is affecting blocking you blocking your and this could be beliefs sometimes the hierophant goes to your inner belief system um or your own personal beliefs you know which would be your own personal religion or your own personal spirituality but it's usually this card has to do with things feeling very um very straight laced and very um stiff you know this is kind of a stiff card it's upside down so i feel like you're bucking the system a little bit and you're kind of doing your own thing, but it may be blocking you a little bit. There's, I don't know, there's something here about, about religion and um, <clears throat> not doing things the way that are expected, maybe. Maybe people are trying to put you in more of a box than you want to be in. You're more of a free spirit. This is kind of the free spirit card of, I'm going to do what I want to do. I don't care what you think card. And that may be blocking things. It may be you're at odds with somebody in your life that is um, maybe somebody who's very dogmatic about their beliefs and their religion. So there's something they're blocking you having to do with that. So let's see if we can get a little bit more on that. Because <clears throat> you probably want to get rid of that blockage. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's going on with that. What's blocking Aquarius? Well, huh. Okay, so this is the hanged man, again, reversed. <laughs> The whole reading is reversed. I should just turn it upside down. Um, this is having to do with being released from feeling like you're in limbo. So let's see how that happens. So there is a release coming, so that's a very good thing. And I think you may have felt like the hanged man. You know, I felt like you've been in a state of limbo, um, especially with this new project, this new pursuit with career, um, you know, the thing that you're building. Let's see what else. Okay, one of the things that's blocking you is this feeling of you can't get ahead with money. Um, no matter what you do, it feels like there's there's debt in this card. It feels like juggling credit cards, maybe debt, 
juggling accounts, um, putting money here and there, borrowing money from here to put over there and switching money around. That's some of why you felt like the hanged man, you know, in limbo. It's some of why you're having, you're feeling like you've, you've been blocked. You're not getting your wish fulfillment because the money's always spoken for. The money's always going out. There's more going out than in at this time, but not always, just at this time. Let's see if there's anything else, any advice that we can get for Aquarius. Yeah, so, okay, so this is the King of Cups. Your advice card here is to be very heart-centered, um, maybe more emotionally involved with um, whoever you're working with, emotionally involved in a way of not coming across like um, you know, you're being hard, you know, more understanding. This is a card of understanding and compassion and being emotionally available. It's the card of being very heart centered. And this is this is an advice card that I pulled. So take it how it resonates, but I think that that's gonna help with some people. Because I think sometimes you, we think we're gonna like think our way through something and really we need to feel our way through something. And I think that's what's coming up here. This card like wanted to bend. It was like, I'm coming out. This is your final outcome card. This is a success card. This is 10 of one. So this is a very good success card but he's carrying a very heavy load and he's about to drop it. So this means you might be feeling tired, overwhelmed. You need to take a break and balance things. This is, you know, he's out of balance. Um, he's about to drop all those sticks. So um, it is success. I mean, it's very, it's not a bad card. It just means you're working yourself maybe too hard, maybe not enough balance. And some of these blockages might release as you're a little more in tune with people emotionally and not driving yourself so hard because I feel like some of you with this first card up being, whoops, that you're building something new here. Um, that means you're driving yourself really hard, you're working really hard, which is great, but you might wanna take some balance here based on the advice of the cards. So really good reading today, Aquarius. Um, I think they gave you a lot of good details to look at. And um, if you have any questions or whatever, please put them in the comments and I'll address them in the next reading. And um, so have a really great week and thanks again for uh, supporting my channel and I'll talk to you soon.